Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at how to program our own JavaScript runtime environment in the same way, for example, Node.js works. This means we will be able to execute JavaScript in a virtual machine that we will create ourselves and bind JavaScript methods to C++ and vice versa. To create this application we're gonna use a framework I wrote called Lemon. It's just a small framework uh, which simplifies writing JavaScript runtime uh, environments. It's built on the Chrome V8 engine, which is the same engine that is used in the Chrome uh, web browser. And I will leave the link to the GitHub uh, repo in the description. So to get started, we're simply going to do a git clone of the uh, Lemon framework here. So go ahead and copy the URL up here. And then in your terminal, hit git clone to pull down the repo to your machine. Like that. And by the way, Lemon is currently only supported for Linux. Now, if you want to create a make file for Lemon in Windows, I think you can probably do it. So feel free to try if you want to. Uh, but this tutorial will be on Linux. Uh, I'm running uh, Ubuntu. Alright, so let's sit into to Lemon. Now we're in the root uh, folder and we got a couple of different files here. And we're just gonna type make to run the make file. This will build our actual application and the lemon framework. Like that. Now, just to try it out, once you have built it, everything went successfully. You can run lemon by typing lemon and then giving it an argument of a file, a JavaScript file. Um, which is this file which is included by default. So it's gonna run that and it should print the version of lemon which is 1.0.0 if everything is working all right, which it seems to be doing. All right, so now once we built it, we can go ahead and let's see, open up the project in our preferred text editor. I'm gonna use Sublime Text. It's gonna open up here like that. Right, so to get started here, we got the engine here, which you don't have to worry about. Let's just leave it as it is. And let's go into the app folder here, which is where we will keep our app. And by the way, if you're new to C++, which this framework is written in, and you will be programming in C++, don't worry, it's not that hard to understand this framework. It's pretty simple written. So you should be able to follow along as you know you have some basic programming. Alright, so let's open up here app.cpp, which is our main app. So this is the example that follows with the uh, uh, default uh, Lemon framework. What this does uh, up here is uh, it calls the start method, which automatically starts the application inside a virtual machine inside uh, the V8 engine, alright? It then loops each argument given from a command line each argument is expected to be a JavaScript file. It then creates a new context here and then enters the context. And then it runs this default lemon method uh, called run JS run file, uh, which executes the code inside a JavaScript file for you automatically. All right, so it's pretty simple. And our context here, as you can see, we're creating a context with a default method here, and then we're entering the context. A context is an execution environment that allows JavaScript to be executed inside a virtual machine. All right. So as you can see, this example just uses one thread because we haven't defined any threads, obviously. So we're just running uh, this context inside this one thread. Now you can run this in multiple threads if you want to experiment with it, but we won't be going into anything like that in this tutorial. All right. So now to get started programming some stuff here, we're going to create a simple method uh, which we're going to be able to call from any JavaScript file, but we're going to use this uh, JavaScript file, the default JavaScript file, app.js, and we're going to create a function that we can call from JavaScript called log, which takes an argument of uh, whatever text you want to log out or variable or anything you want to log out, all right? 
And what we're going to do is we're going to create a C++ method inside Lemon that actually executes this. All right. So you can see if we run Lemon and then AppChat yes right now, you can see that log is not defined, so we get an error. And these errors are handled automatically by Lemon. But of course, we're getting an error because there's nothing in JavaScript called log. All right. So we're going to define this ourselves a log function in the JavaScript uh, language, which is going to be able to run inside our environment here. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, close that file and we can open up app.cpp. Now, the first we're going to do is we're going to open up header file app.hpp and we're going to create a simple uh, void method. Oops. Uh, which is called set up environment. Now this is a default hook method inside the Lemon framework, which is called before the app starts. So we can actually hook into this method and do some stuff before the actual app starts, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. So void app set up environment. So what we're gonna do here is set up an environment before we create the context here in the start method, all right? So we're gonna reg register a global JavaScript function, uh, which is a bind to C++, which is gonna be the log method, all right? So we're gonna use a method here called get global. This belongs to the Lemon framework. And this gets the global object template for the environment, all right? And we're gonna use something called set. And we're gonna create a new string. Yeah. New from UTF-8, this get isolate. These are default V8 methods, all right? V8 requires these to create strings and stuff like that. So we need the isolate, then we're gonna say log. This is the name of the method we will create. And we're gonna say new string type k normal uh, and then to local checked like that and then we also have to uh, also have to define the actual method that will run when this is called from javascript okay so when we call it log we want something to run what we want to run is a, something called a function template so we're going to create a new function template we're going to pass in the isolate again and we're going to define a method we want to run as our fun function template inside lemon all right so we're going to say app log now there's simply too much information to me for me to go over everything so we just can type this stuff and then explain a bit and see how it works all right so let's go ahead and create this uh, app.log method. Let's open up app.http. Uh, and we're gonna create a static void here uh, called log. And it takes a couple of arguments called function uh, callback info. Again, this is default uh, v8 stuff. So just accept the names and roll with it. And we're gonna pass the args. So this will allow us to get some arguments from the method we will, we will be calling from JavaScript, okay? Sorry, my microphone just did something weird. So like that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and try to run make here, see if we get any errors. Um, function call that does not uh, name a type. Let's see here, save our const function value and args. We're also gonna have to define that we're using the function callback info here. So let's say using v8 function callback info. And let's try and make it again. Uh, again an error, let's try again. v8 function callback info has not 
Be declared using uh, V8. Oh, I misspelled it, sorry. Function callback info. It's supposed to be like that. So let's try to make this again. Uh, and once again, we have another typo here. Sorry about that. It's supposed to be capital S. All right. And now hit make. Now everything works as it's supposed to. It's just small typos here. Uh, and another function callback info value cost. Uh, yeah, we haven't defined the method here uh, yet, so of course. So now we're just going to go ahead and open up the header file. And we're going to copy this. And then the class declaration before the method name. So void app log and compile. So now everything will work as it's supposed to. Now what we can do inside this uh, log method here is uh, create the functionality we want to use when we're using this method from JavaScript, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all loop the arguments because or log method in this case can have multiple arguments so we're gonna say uh, i equals with zero uh, i is more than args dot length i plus plus so just a normal for loop and we're gonna enter something called a handle scope and we're gonna pause in the isolate here again, which we're getting from the uh, arguments. Now this is again default V8 engine stuff, uh, and V8 needs this for its garbage collection. All right. Uh, we're also gonna need to define here in the header file that we're using the handle scope, so we don't get errors like previously. So using V8 handle scope. And let's say if i is uh, bigger than zero, we're just gonna do a print f to std out, and then let's just add a space. We can write it like that instead. So we're just gonna write to std out here uh, when we call in the log function. Now we're gonna be able to call multiple arguments here. Uh, so it's gonna work like this. Right, so we can log multiple times and uh, multiple strings at the same time. So if it's not the first argument, we're gonna just create uh, this here, uh, and then we need to create a string uh, called UTF8 value. Uh, and again, we're gonna have to get the isolate here from V8 from the arguments. And pass in args i, which is the current argument. And then we're gonna have to define a char. Let's call this c string. And we're gonna use a default uh, method here, or a default class, which is included in Lemon called helpers, uh, where we're gonna uh, convert this string, which is a UTF-8 value in this case, to a normal c string. All right, so we can use these built-in methods here. Uh, these are not well documented in Lemon because I just wrote it this week, but uh, you can check it out if you want to use it more. And then f print f again, std out. Uh, let's say percentage s, and then the c string. All right. And then to clear everything up, we can write print f std out and a new line oops so we get a new line after our log method has uh, printed out something and then let's flush the std out all right now let's see if we get any errors here um, length uh, oh, of course, uh, 
its length with capital L and it's a method. Let's try to make make it again. Right, so now everything is built successfully. Now what we can do is let's run lemon to run the lemon application, passing app as an argument. I run it. As you can see now we're actually getting the log method here from the app.js. Hello, how are something? And we can also just pass it one argument. Run it. Alright. So this is actually now you have written a JavaScript runtime environment application uh, which runs inside a virtual machine. Uh, inside one context in this case. Now you could of course Exactly like Node.js, you can create how many JavaScript files you want to. Uh, let's call this uh, test.js and log. And let's log I am test. And in app.js, let's log I am app.js. And let's run lemon app.js. And then we're going to pass the second argument called test.js, which is the test file. And as you can see, I am app.js and I am test is getting printed. So you can run multiple uh, uh, JavaScript files at the same time in this application as well if, if you want to. So that's a very simple example of how to create a runtime uh, JavaScript runtime application. Now I'm gonna leave, I'm probably gonna create some more uh, uh, examples in the github repo for lemon in the future because i haven't had time to write the documentation for everything but uh, this should get you started with writing something like node.js and you can yes like we created this log method you can create met uh, classes and everything you want in c++ and call it from javascript all right you can create web servers like node.js has and stuff like that all right you can run in multiple threads one thread uh, lemon supports all of that so yeah i hope you learned something and uh, thank you bye bye